What if I told you that success was scientific? It wasn't something to do with luck, had nothing to do with hard work, timing was not really important. If you had the exact formula for success, what would you be able to do with that? My name is Roger Bryan, I'm called The Partner, and I want to show you today the reasons why your business is succeeding, and more importantly, the reasons why your business is failing. So the very first thing I want to look at is, what are your annual sales? Are they around $100,000 or less? Are they around $250,000 or less? Or are you doing a million dollars a year in sales or more? Because scientifically, there's an exact reason each of these income streams exists. And you'd be amazed at what these elements are. So let's go over these real quick. So if you're making $100,000 or less in gross sales per year, it's because you don't have a perfect product. You haven't split tested. You haven't done your market demographics. You don't know what people want to buy. You're trying to create something that you think that they want without really going out and asking them. You're not putting forth any sales effort. No real cohesive sales effort is being done for lead generation, for going out and making new deals. It's kind of haphazard and you're probably relying on referrals. And you have no accounting in place. If you don't know your numbers, and that's not just about money, this is about the statistics of your marketing, the statistics of your clients' marketing, um, everything that you're trying to do to get your business to grow in order to help their, their business grow. If you're an entrepreneur and say you own like a cleaning company, or even if you're a dentist or a chiropractor, do you know your numbers from an operational perspective? Probably. Do you know them from a marketing and sales perspective? Probably not. Now, if you're making under $100,000 a year, you have a job. There's no way around it. I don't care if you sit at home and work in your computer and your boxers, or how if you sit at home and work naked. If you're making less than $100,000 a year, you have a job. You can argue with me until you're red in the face, I'm gonna win. Now, what comes after a job? I say a hobby comes in. If you're making about $250,000 a year, and this is gross sales, you have a hobby. I'm proud of you, I'm happy for you. It still doesn't mean anything, but you now have a hobby. So that means that you have a decent product. You found a way to develop something that you can sell over and over again. Back here, you're trying to sell each person individually what they want, instead of creating a product that you can sell in mass. Now, maybe you're doing some networking, you're going to a meetup, a BNI, you're going to events, a place to meet new customers, but you haven't really put together a real sales and marketing campaign. Now, you're starting to put together some numbers. Maybe you have a spreadsheet or a Google Doc or a book that you fill out whenever you have expenses, and you're starting to keep track a little bit about the success of your campaigns, but you still have no sales effort. You're not really going out there trying to push this product into the right people that want it. And you probably don't have a team, or if you do, you have the wrong team or the wrong people. So how do we move scientifically from having a job into a hobby into having a business? Well, we start to develop these certain assets. We make sure that we've perfected our product. A perfected product is something that you can sell to 50 people today without having to do any additional work. We're gonna make sure that you have a perfected pitch. That means anytime anybody asks you what your product is, what it does, who you are, what you do, it is just second nature for you to tell them. And you can tell them with such passion and enthusiasm that they wanna know more, they wanna learn more, they wanna hear from you, they wanna to talk to you. You have a team. Now notice that I put this big. You have the A team. You have the right players in the right positions doing the right things. The right things are the systems and procedures. That means nothing is haphazard. Everything is strategic. When you get a new customer in, you know every single thing that's gonna to happen to them every single day that they're going to be your client before they sign up for you. You have a sales department in a funnel. Now, the sales department can be one individual. It can be an outsourced individual. It can be yourself, but you know what it does. You know what you're doing here. You know where your leads are coming from. You know what your script is to sell them. You know what your product offering is, your pricing, your capabilities, your deliverables. And you know how to funnel people. You know how to bring them into the top of the funnel. You know how to get them in as a contact. You know how to convert them into a lead. You know how to nurture them through blog posting, press releases, and other types of social communication with them. And you know how to get them into the bottom of your funnel and convert them into paying customers. You're doing your own marketing. Now, say again, like you own a cleaning company or a chiropractor. That might mean that you're hiring a third-party agency to do your marketing, but you're doing it. You're putting money out there. You're putting 15% of your gross sales back into marketing in order to help that business grow and you have a CFO or proper accounting. Now, in the million dollar range, maybe you have a bookkeeper that does your books once a month. Maybe you have an in-house office manager that does your accounts receivable, accounts payable, payroll, and all that kind of good stuff. But you have proper accounting in. If you were to sit down at your computer today, you could print off a balance sheet, a profit and loss, a cash flow statement. You could tell me your earnings by client. 
you would have all of these elements put together. And that's where a million dollar business is. So if you're trying to progress your way from making $100,000 a year in gross sales, $250,000 a year in gross sales, and a million dollars a year in gross sales, this is the scientific way to do it. Now you have to ask yourself, what's the reason to do this? Well, if you have a gross sales $100,000 a year job, at the end of the year, you know what? You've survived. You've got a roof over your head, you're eating food, but we live in America, that's not enough. At $250,000 a year in gross sales, you should start to see the fifty to $75,000 a year um, net income. That means that you're living in a house that you want to live in, you're driving a car that you want to drive, you're going on a vacation once a year, you're actually enjoying life a little bit. You can get a little bit more out of it than anybody else. The big change comes when you get over here. Remember, this is scientific. All you have to do is these things and this happens. You don't have to be lucky, you don't have to be smart, you just have to be willing to apply these and earn the money that you're worth. Now what happens over here? Well now over here you're taking home, you're netting $250,000 a year. You're taking any vacation you want, whenever you want. This business is paying for part of your house, your office that you have at your house, even if you don't use it that often. It's leasing your Cadillac, your Mercedes, your BMW, your Lexus, whatever the hell it is that you want to drive. It's letting you live in the house that you want to live in. It's letting you control your life. It's paying for your health insurance. It's paying for your retirement accounts. It's putting money away for your kid's college tuition. So this just isn't a number up here. This is a lifestyle. This is a reason for existing. We live in the greatest country in the world. And if you live in Europe or you live in Australia, you've got the same opportunities there. If we're living in the greatest time in the world where the barrier to entry into having a successful business can be zero in many cases if you have the scientific formula to make it happen. I want to help you develop this. And it really starts by us just talking once. You'll notice there's nothing for sale on this page. I want to talk to you. I want to know about your business. I want to help you figure out where you are. I want to help you figure out what you need to do. And I want to set a plan of attack to help you get there. So I'm Roger Bryan, the partner. There's a link right below this or above this, depending on where you're seeing this video at. Go ahead and click that. Let's set up a time to talk. No obligation, let's just talk. Let's see if scientifically we can help you move up this chain and we can help you live the life that you want to live. It's not hard. I've done it multiple times for myself. I've done it multiple times for my students and I can help you do it too. Thank you.